G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Bonzo Works. Uh, a few more videos these days, because it's a busy time of year, repotting time. Um, I've got this Japanese maple that I want to repot. You would have seen this, I have shared this tree quite a few times in the future. It is becoming a nice, naturally developing kind of bonsai, uh, natural in terms of deciduous tree. It's looking less and less uh, like a, a triangular tree. Got this nice, lovely little side trunk here that's working well. I don't really wire it too much. You see a bit of wire on these branches. I try and keep the wire off it as much as I can. I uh, try and do clip and grow more than anything and just try to make it look very natural and grow the branches accordingly. Now this tree I didn't repot last year so it's been two years now that I haven't repotted it um, and I think it's due. Uh, some of the reasons look at the moss it just naturally grows the moss. Um, I have found that towards the end of the year, towards the end of last year or summer, the water wasn't really penetrating as well. So another indication of it's starting to get too um, too dense on the top, so time, time to repot. So really it's also just making sure, you know, can this tree go two years without repotting? I think it can. Japanese maple aren't as um, strong as trident maples in terms of root growth um, in Melbourne anyway. I don't know how it is everywhere else, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Um, so that can go two years. I'm, it's pretty much where I'm at, two years. Maybe I could push it three years. Next, next, I'll have a look at the roots and see what they look like. Um, and maybe next year, next time it'll be three years before I have to repot this tree. Um, probably the beauty of um, doing these videos um, and having a history of them is I can go back and look on when I last repotted trees rather than putting little tags in there and getting them washing away and things like that. So it's really having good having that history of the, the tree and when I last um, repotted it, I'll just go back a year, which trees did I repot? done a video on them great it's great record keeping as well so it really makes my life easier um, so anyway okay so let's get into it first thing I do is cut the wire off holding the tree um, you can see it goes right through pulling it away I can hear the roots pull away so yeah I've got, got that going it's gonna go back in this pot so we'll give the pot a bit of a cleanup I like it it's a, it's a nice pot for the tree nice really hard to get the wire out, meaning pretty much the roots would have grown right around it. Sorry about the noise, I'll try and minimise that noise. Still there. Anyway, I've got to get this wire out. Don't have to, but better just try and get it out now. around this end. I'm thinking it's really got nice and solid so I might just cut it off for now and we'll collect it later. Right, let's see, it should just come out because the pot doesn't have a lip. It came out pretty clean, look at that. And there's hardly any soil in there. It doesn't fall away, meaning it's pretty much rock solid and I'll, have a, I'll show you before I have a look pretty good pretty solid um, definitely need a repot um, so we just start working away with our root rake and I, I don't, I'm not worried about the, the moss on top but it's relevant right so let's just I just start coming at the top just coming away the moss and dark so I can see the roots on the top might take a bit of time but it's what you need to do. Might actually do a little um, time lapse of me doing this because that's what I do. I work my way around it and then I go up here and just try and pull away on, the, on, the, on this bit, really comb it out, comb underneath um, and we'll get it going. So I'll do a time lapse on this next bit.
All right, so you see what I've done? I've just clean, I've cleared it out, um, raked it all out. It's quite nice and loose now. Uh, I need to, what I always do now is give it a wash. Use a jet, jet spray hose really rinse it out, um, try and get in there, get all the small particles out. That's the best way to get rid of um, the fine stuff in the soil where it's broken down too much. Um, I do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks after that um, in terms of what the roots look like and then we'll give them a trim. It's just that I find it, I just like to do it that way. Other people do it differently, but I personally just like to um, have a look, a real close look at the roots after I've given it a good wash. So you can see, we'll see the difference. That's what it looks like now. It's beautiful, nice, healthy root mass. And we're going to reduce that okay all right so give it a nice wash you see it's dripping a bit, a bit too much but um I just usually i like to just make sure uh, i can have a look at what the roots look like it's like a carpet under here it's quite nice and healthy it's really hollow in there so it's really good i just come around and start to cut the periphery away try and hold it up with one hand and then anything that's going down you'll be able to cut her off. Let's just keep cutting away. Some people go harder, some people go a bit lighter. It's no real signs, unless you know it's a healthy tree. Like if you think it's a really healthy tree, you can really go for it, just like me. So now when you get into this, I like to tilt it and just try and work my way in. Cut all the loose ones and long ones and heavy ones if you find any. It's like just giving a haircut, I guess. So doing it at the bottom, doing the roots. Now what I like to do is actually give it another rinse because I've just um, just done the, just done some trimming and all the loose stuff gets out. So that's pretty much it. That's a nice little pad you're going to work with. Um, that's really what I do. Um, keep it nice and pad 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 length. I like to try and clean up the moss because it will grow back anyway naturally. So I'm going to give it another shot on the on the hose and, and then it should be ready. And the other thing I did is I gave the pot a nice clean as well. So it's nice and clean, just water, and just give it a wipe and all the yucky stuff got off it. So. I'll be back just to after I wash this off, okay? Alright, give it another nice nice shot with the hose. There's still a bit of moss, I mean still a bit of moss on it, no big deal. But it, I can see the Nabari much better now um, and how it's improving all the time. It's got some nice big, nice big nice roots flare around here. It's looking good. Nothing really negative. Um, it's really I would like to expose that a bit more. So just give it some time and I'll expose that a bit more. But looks really nice from this end. Now, I'll put, put the tree to the side. Now's the time to get the pot ready. Now, as I said, I've given it a nice wash already. Nice and clean. And it's already wired in. I already got the mesh in from last time. I didn't have to put them in again. So now I just secure it by putting a nice bit wire all the way through. So I just thread the wire through. Give me enough length to be able to tie it around. All right. I'll just use whatever I've got. This is just 1.5 mil aluminium. People use different sizes, it doesn't matter. Bigger trees I use tend to use thicker wire, just um, to hold it better. But these guys are, should be fine with this smaller wire. And this tree's quite solid, so it's not gonna really move around in the pot too much. Um, all right. Sometimes you wanna find the best which front you like the best, but they're pretty much the same. So I'll just go with that one. Just pressing these little uh, plastic things down a bit more to my soil. Actually, I've got to turn around to me because I'm going to see. Because this tree just goes, doesn't go in the middle, it goes slightly to this side, so it moves this way. So it just goes slightly on this side of the, of the pot. So 
So I do make a little bit of a mound because I'll, I'll work the tree into it. So that's what I do. I'll make sure there's nice even covering for everywhere else. But I've got a little mound, a little bit to this side. You can see it's more this side rather than in the, in the middle, slightly this side. It doesn't take much, just a little bit. And then I'll place the tree. So you see how it sits really high up above. But once we wiggle it in, I know the noise probably sounds horrible on camera. <laughs> but we wiggle it in and it looks and it really just sinks into the sinks into the mix nicely. You look find little weeds sticking out, just take them out, take them out. That's pretty nice. Checking it, it's not in the middle. See how, see how I've just mentioned this, I'll show you what I mean. See how it's not in the middle, it's just slightly to the left, or this is my left, your right probably, slightly to the left. Now I tie it to the back so I don't see it and eventually what happens is the moss and everything grows over the top so you will never see it or shouldn't see it after two years I wasn't I couldn't see the other one so I use my pliers to tie it in to tighten it it's reasonably tight not not go nuts but just nice and tight cut off the excess there you go and that should hold pretty nicely Maybe a little bit more tighter careful with our onion don't go too tight it will snap and then we pretty much fill it in So I usually just put some layer of soil on top. And then I have my trusty chopstick where I can't see where I put it. And I use my chopstick to work the soil into the roots. It's not really, it's not hard guys, especially if you're new, don't be scared. Repotting is quite normal, natural, easy. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it. And it's following the same process. It's not really anything different. Um, maybe the maybe the deciduous trees are a bit easier, I guess. You know, they have to be so careful because um, they come back so strongly and so well. Um, you know, you wouldn't, I wouldn't wash the soil off pines, for example. Uh, I don't do that, you know, but for, for deciduous trees, you can do that. So I'll move my chopstick. So I use a chopstick and work the soil into the little air pockets that were um, still exposed. Just pushing where I make, make a little hole and push away with my fingers and press them down. Good to have a turntable as well. Try and have some sort of turntable so you don't have to move the pot the whole time. Sharp scissors, I did forget to mention that. Nice sharp scissors when you're cutting the roots. You don't want blunt scissors. Sorry, that scraping sound must sound horrible on the camera. Unavoidable, unfortunately. Now, the other thing I've mentioned in my other video is um, when I repot it, is I put these pretty much back where they found them on the bench. Because it's still winter or mid-winter, it's not like it's over hot, over, I'm not going to freeze in Melbourne very rarely. Um, you know, it's not going to be so negative temperature. It's going to be pretty much the same where it came out of. So it's it's still going to be where it was, where it belonged. It's not going to be over hot. It's not going to be hot, it's not going to be cold. It's still the same temperature as the that I took this away and repotted it. So, you know, it's just it's just saying that it goes back in the same spot. I, I don't put them in shade, in this and that. It doesn't need to be in Melbourne. Um, I don't know how it is in your area, but for me, back in the same spot, same position in the garden as I, as I took it away from. It knows the spot. It's lived there for the last how many years. It's the same conditions. It's, you know what I mean? It doesn't, there's no need to do look after it like that. If you have to repot it in summer, some for some reason it, it broke its pot or something like that, yeah, maybe and the pots were damaged or something like that, then maybe put it in semi-shade. But for me, back in the same spot in the garden. 
All right, I'm just going to put this in a, in a, in a, with a background, a black background, so you can have a better look at the tree. And we should finish off there. So thanks again, guys, if you're watching. Um, very easy to repot trees. Don't be scared. Get it done, and the trees will look fantastic. Okay, see you next time.